looking at it, it looks like the the northern lip of this is angling up. And as you're standing there longer, you see, you know, you see more drops of water come sploshing down here. And in fact, there's a little bit of a pool here and uh, the, the, the ground is somewhat um, lined from so many drops of water hitting it. And is, um, how, how, how tall is the ceiling right now? How high yeah. is that hole? Um, this <coughs> hole is... Oh, let me think. Uh, it's about 30 feet up there. Oh, that's okay. I mean, we have the the grappling hooks and stuff from that chest, so I think I I think Thurnall has one or was going to throw one up. I'll throw one up. I'll get under here and throw one up and see if we can shimmy and shake on up as quietly as you can with the grappling hook. Yeah. Uh, you need like a dexterity check or something? I don't know if I have sight. I, I just got a black screen. Oh, uh, you have to pan and scan to find where we're at. The whole map is black except for the room we're in. So if you zoom all the way out, you'll be able to see like what part of the map we're in. Okay, thank you. Right, yep. Let me... Maybe that pulled you down where we're at. And this is the, still the same cave, so there's no reason why we would think any of these other offshoots is going to lead us up there. Would that be a correct statement? They've all been searched. We haven't found much. Okay. Plus, I did shoot an arrow up there with some uh, a sack of a, a fire beetle to try and light the hole up. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's right. Uh, there's it's a splashed, uh, it's splashed on the ceiling a little bit there. Ooh. What were you yeah, saying, Richard? That... Problems. Yeah, that is right. That is a bit illuminated up there. A little bit of a red glow on that lip. That's how you can eat. you can really tell that the okay. angle of that stone because obviously uh, heat vision isn't going to give you a whole lot of help there as it's uh, all kind of cold or all kind of the same temperature. Oh. And that's not whatever's up there that makes the clanking isn't suddenly over here looking down because of that? No. Okay. How bring this like this? How wide did you say the hole was? It's uh, it's about ten by ten. It's oh, okay. Good size hole over there. So we couldn't like tie a rope to a spear and throw the spear up there and hope it would span the hole. <clears throat> you really got to use a grapple. No. Okay. Those grapples were in the chest for a reason. And ropes too, right? And ropes too. Yeah, it was grappling and I ropes. Say, I have rope. Yeah. I didn't have a grappling hook on me. So you need me to roll anything for throwing that grapple? Yeah, give me a, just a d20 roll. <sighs> 15. Okay. So Ragnar Chucks that maybe up there, and you hear it land solidly, and he goes to pulling, and it bites, and you put your weight on it. Yeah, you've caught a caught something that's going to let you let you go up. Mm. All right. Who's the Anybody lightest? Else you want to up? Don't I'll don't do the old Catholic thing and ch -ch 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 climb on up. Don't Very we have stealthy rogue? You can send first. Don't we have someone that's lighter and a better climber? Like one of the rogues. I don't know. Oh. We don't have a rogue here tonight. Ted's not here tonight. All right. Hey. Well. So there's the uh, the for a ranger. 
So I guess All not. <laughs> I will hold the rope for you, Ranger. Job for volunteer, <laughs> I believe. Yeah, so I go last. Okay. Uh, so you going to follow Ragnar or are you going to throw up a separate boat? Are you going to follow Ragnar, or are you going to throw up the second grapple? She wants oh, yeah. to go up instead of me. Galathon thought I was too... I'm too fat and round. Okay. Galathon, okay. I didn't think you really knew me in real life. <laughs> it's not a real life thing. It's more of like, don't we have... Little people? and I thought we had little people in this group. You do, but he's not here. Well, I mean, Myrna is a half-elf. So she's got to be a little thinner than... <laughs> yeah, somebody's got a real echo going on here. Uh, oh. Test, test, yeah. test. No. No. And now it's better. Test, test, test. Yep. Yeah. That did it. Okay. I took my out into far away. Okay. Oh, okay. There's also a really good uh, voice or noise cancellation technology on uh discord now normally my husband does the second old thing let's ask him yeah get a headset that's the best yeah it sounds like you're not using a headset okay so uh So give me a 3d6 strength check. Boom. Myrna? 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 I'm supposing your strength is better than nine being a ranger. So <laughs> nice. you might get up the, up the uh, rope. And when you come up the slope, you're in a, about a um, three foot tall passageway. And and about 30 or so feet away from you, you see a bunch of little glowing folks. Their bodies are glowing? Oh, infravision. Right. How many glowing people is she seeing? Mm, oh, I can't ask that. I'm not up there with her. Point. Okay. So, what do you wish to do, Myrna? I see how many people. Okay. Give me a d20 row. You're pretty sure there's more than three, but that's about as good as you can tell. Okay. I climb down the, the rope and slide down the rope and okay. tell everyone. people upstairs how far away did they seem to be uh, I saw how about three but it's dark so perhaps there are more people 
Okay, you don't. Were they? You think we can all get up there and them them not know us, not not see us? No, you don't. You think you would see? But was that we cannot sneak up, or we could? No, you cannot sneak up. She would not okay. think you could sneak up. She believes they saw her. Ah. Oh well, I'm getting. I'm kind of duck into the side where I can get an angle shot and get my bow ready. Okay. You gonna do the same thing, Thrun, or are you just gonna stay where the rocks can fall on your head? Oh, I'll come up. <laughs> get out of the. You're underneath the hole. There you go. Sorry. Is there a reason we're all on this side? Should I be over there? There, now you're not alone. <laughs> Can we hear anybody coming over to check out the hole, Richard? Go right there. You don't hear anything. But she thinks they saw her? Yep. And they started to come over or they started to go away? <laughs> She didn't stay around to find that out, but they definitely, she thinks they were pointing at her. Pointing at her. Oh, okay. Just a question. Is the map going to change for this so that we can see where we're dealing with? Nobody's gone up there yet except for Myrna. Oh, I thought we went up. I was waiting yeah, for Myrna. Because you aren't up there. So whoever goes up. Oh, hell with it. Whoever goes up first needs to secure the rope to something more solid than just the grapple. Like, put it around a rock so that the grapple comes around and attaches to the rope again. Like, around a stalactite or something. Or a stalactite. Mm. Something Hell with it. I'll, big I'll and climb solid. up there. That was my role for climbing, Richard. I'll climb up and... Secure the rope or do whatever or get ready and tell people, let's go. I'll take another rope with me, too, to two ropes. Um, Can I do that? What I saw, it, it, it was like humans, like goblins, like... Um, they were very short. Well, it's kind of hard. I mean, you didn't have a great view of them because you're just using infravision. You but said it was. They were, small. they were, you know, three less. feet or less. And they're, and the passage you're in is not much taller than that. Okay, so Ragnar, are you going to go up? Yeah, what the hell? I'll go up. I'll take another little rope around me to tie off to get two ropes down there. Okay. I'm going to follow him up. Okay. Just give me the same 3D6 row. So you both make it up, and yeah, you can find places to tie it off. But what you will see is, yeah, there are definitely more than three uh, small humanoids. Now they're about they're, they're about twenty feet down the corridor. Okay. And they do see you, and they are waving their little weapons around, and they are starting to come your direction. All righty. I will, you know, tell people down below, come on up. There's guests afoot, and uh, I'll get out my little axe, and me and Toronto, I guess, will cover while other people climb up to help fight. Okay. So the ceiling hopefully is how high above hopefully us? Hopefully they'll climb up. 
three uh, feet. The ceiling from the floor is thirty feet Four. above. Up, up above. When you get up <coughs> there, you're in about a three and a half foot tall hallway. Holy smokes! So, okay, so I pull out my dagger then. <laughs> so you guys are here now, and really crouched. What you see, you're tying that off, and that'll be what you're doing this round. And they're coming cautiously towards you. Uh, as they get this close, you can tell they're little lizardy type people. Kobolds. And it is initiative. I'll climb okay. up to five beats the six. So you guys coming forward. Was Cobalt's a good guess? <laughs> yeah, it's a very good guess. So just a clarification, um, since this is like about three and a half foot high, I know that I'm like six foot six one. So since we're crouched in here and fighting, is it going to be a negative if we use a if I use a longsword or if I use my dagger? Will it be like a normal roll? A dagger would be a normal roll. A longsword would get some negatives. And, okay, I'll use uh, my dagger. And 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 you'll have some your if you lose your dex bonus or. Well, what's your dex bonus for AC? One sec, sorry. Negative two. Oh. <laughs> so you don't lose that. <laughs> but it I, I think, I think, if it's done correctly oh, on the sheet. You're, 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 you're minus two to AC. Yeah, you would lose one of those. You'll one, lose half, one point. Of your, half of your, your dex bonus. For AC for this little fight. Okay. Okay. Is that, okay. Is that dwarves too, or just humans? That does not apply to dwarves or hobbits or gnomes. Okay. I'm just tall. Good to be short. It's a curse. Right. So that is a miss by our by our two fearless kobolds in the front. A couple of crossbow bolts come flying over your over your heads, and uh, or, or hit the wall, hit the ceiling maybe, but they don't hurt anyone. So, Alrighty. who wants to try and go up the ropes? Did what? Who wants to try to go up? Haddock would try to go up. Okay. He doesn't know it's cramped up there. I am up or I'm not? You went down. Okay. So I'll go up again. Okay. So I think Galifon said he was going up at one time. But she did recently. roll again right at the oh, there now. I'll let you keep your roll, but that wasn't you weren't it wasn't the time to go. Okay. So um what what we need to do then is my melee attacks take place, and uh, so go ahead, uh, Theranol and Ragnar, you may swing away or stab away or whatever okay. you choose to do. I'm going to take that one right in front of me. That's a miss, I believe. Yeah, an eight would be okay. Throwing on hit probably. Yes. Yeah, I think I did. Unless they're wearing plate or something. Well, they're way, wearing pretty good armor, but a twenty does hit it. 
So roll. Oh, the damage is already rolled on there. And that takes him out. Nice. And you have a quarter of a hit die or something like that. Excuse me. That one's I that one's the one Ragnar would have probably been swinging yeah. at. So they're just kobolds. They don't have much. I think they're only worth like fifteen XP too. And uh so, those of you that are coming up, Myrna, you're going to make it up. And, Haydak, you want to give me the climb roll? Just a raw 20-sided roll? No, I under your screen. Oh. 3D yeah, I normally use D20 in this game, but I called that one and that works. So I think you're better than a 12. So up you go. Yeah. And uh, you can see some kobolds and, and your compatriots fighting at the moment. And it is. Uh, time for initiative. After you rolled the one, I'm like, I'll ruin, I'll waste the throw because mine always suck anyway. They swing and miss. Crossbows missed too. Yep. And uh, so you guys may take your melee attacks. There's a, one came up on you, Theranol. So Good okay, God, another bad roll. Your turn to kill another one, dude. All right. I'm just distracting him for you. I'm gonna dagger him again. He <laughs> killed <Okay>. him. <laughs> oh. Apparently, when it comes to melee, I'm just your comic sidekick. <laughs> yeah, I'm better at melee than with my bow for some reason, I guess. The cruel things the uh, dice roller does to us. Yeah, they can. So, um, let's see, the, oh, who else does it, uh, Kyland and, uh, Galifon, do you wish to go up? Okay. Yeah. Okay, same thing, 3d6. Okay, so the two of you... Make it up. So everybody's up. This, like the floor up here is extra slick because there's like water actively coating it. So everybody's knees are going to be wet. And uh, it is initiative. Did with well. Did Myrna come up this time where she can battle? And same thing with who's the other one? Rich? I don't know what your character is. They can do. Sorry, Haddock. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Simo sticks it. Okay. So, do you guys want, want them to go or do you want to go? What do you mean? Am I close well, enough to actually I doing it? So we can't. It's kind of hard to move simultaneously. 
Yeah, there's... I'll give, I, I will give uh, Theranol the advantage to move up one hex, one square if he wished it to. Still get the hit then, right? Yeah. For some reason, my guy will I'm move. I'm still seeing the first floor. I'm not seeing the second floor. Maybe you're I not know. because there's no room in the actual physical second floor yet. You're you're on the second floor, but you're not in the visual area of it yet. All right. So oh. Theranol wish to move. I I can't move, move my token for some reason. Oh, it won't oh, let me. Well, you're right there in that. Sometimes when you're on the line, it just there you go. Out. Okay. I'm and kill the so, one in front of Ragnar. Uh, Ragnar, I mean, uh, Hadak and Myrna, there is room in front of you if you wish to. One of you can move up if you wish to. And Hadak would definitely move up, but I can't move my token. Past the wall there. There we go. <laughs> I I'll think take I still it. missed. And so. Galifon, you have an open square in front of you if you wish to move forward. Okay. And <coughs> so you got blown and swing. And I've got Thrown and I are keeping the good old act up. He hits, I miss. Ragnar missing. I share my curse with you from you normally when I play. Yeah. I'm a good sharer. I'm sharing it with you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Next week I'll stalk her. Next time I'll stalk her. <laughs> well, they do a whole bunch of missing. And um, so. Basically, you guys have done all you can do. This guy has died. Uh, you can see the two down there with crossbows, and it is initiative. One more. There you go. We win. Okay. So. Why don't you guys go take the crossbow, man? I'll keep the guy that I keep missing busy. So, Theranol? Uh, yes. You want to move? Yeah, your movement is going to be... I mean, you really can only move, like, two squares here. Which one did I hit? I thought I hit the one in front of Ragnar. Did I or no? No. Well, oh, you I picked mean, a different one. That's okay. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Out of the one in the back, I... That's fine. I don't care. Either way. I'll try to clarify better next time. Sorry. Okay. So what do you want me to do? You can move if you wish to. But you can move up to two squares, considering the conditions. You're basically walking on your knees. Okay. And I try to miss I can only Richard. Move, I can't attack. What? Can I try Can't to miss now? Wait. Let me figure out what, what's going on here. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet. Go ahead. No, that's okay. I okay. think we're both asking different questions. Okay. Who's going to move? No one? Everyone? Uh, well, I, I, is that all I have left is a move? I mean, you could attack the guy beside you. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. So, then roll your attack. <laughs> okay. Killed him. Oh, the work. Oops, that works. Okay, so this guy dies. So, Ragnar, what do you wish to do? Well, I was going to melee. I'm 
can I switch and do a bow at one of these guys, or do I have to lose a round for that? Um, yeah, that would take a round. Okay. I will. I'll, I will. I will. You said two squares, so I'll move up two squares to let but more people in the fun. Right. So you're you're not restricted on your movement at all. Okay. You're gonna have to move me because I think I'm stuck in half the wall as well. Okay. There you go. So I'll move so as far as you will let me. I mean, you can now. You would two, three, not quite be able to get to them and attack, but you could get all the way up to them. Okay, I'll do that. Now others can get in the fun. Okay. Hey, Dak, what do you wish to do? I will hold my shield directly in front of me and start moving forward as far as I can go. Okay. Okay. That, that's about it for you. Um, <laughs> All right. So, uh, Galathon and Myrna? Yes. Do you guys move up? I can. What? Galathon, do you wish to move up? Yeah. Okay. Then, Kylan, do you wish to move up? You yes, I do. Where to go if you wish to. Hmm. So you I, have can't your... I can't move him. I can't move him. Yeah, I know you can't. That's why I was. The back wall sticky. Okay. So. Crickets, crickets. Mic check. Oh, someone disappeared. Hi. Okay. They oh, ran away. Ragnar, you can take one attack of opportunity. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I'd love to hit something. I finally hit something. Yep, you do. So... One of these guys is toast. Gets about that far before he falls down after the vicious cut you put into him as he tried to turn him in. The they ran away, hallway, boys and girls. Ragnar, right here where you are, I tripped him out. Starts to go up. Starts to what? As far as the ceiling okay. goes up here. Okay. Thank goodness. Why don't you guys search those bodies and I'll search this one. I'm sorry, Richard, I didn't hear that. Initiative. Initiative, okay. Initiative. Oh, we killed everything. No. This one got away. Or is still still out there. I mean, do you guys want to chase it, search the bodies real quick and him time to get his friends so we can have a proper massive battle. Yeah. Okay, so what are you guys doing? Are you searching bodies or you're moving down the hallway? Well, right, as slow as that. You have no, no, you didn't have any previously, but you obviously have no movement restrictions. I'll let them search and I'll move down the hallway and to place myself as guard. Okay, Galifon, you are restricted to two squares. They're in Haddock, your two squares. Haddock's going to start slowly mo moving his way down the hallway while they search the bodies. Oh, does that mean I can... What about does me? That I'm five feet tall. I'm an elf. Does that mean um, my movement is two right now? Yeah. Okay. Because you're in a three, you're in a three foot tall corridor. You're on your knees. <laughs> oh, that's probably too then. Yeah. Is it? But do you guys want me to head down the hall and scope it out while you search and move you slowly? Because you probably could stoop and you probably didn't have to get on your knees and sleep both. <laughs> so. so 
So, Colin, yeah, I would let you do two and three. I can move. Oh, you can't move. Okay. I can't move either. There, you guys can move now. I don't know if anybody heard. Do you guys want me to go chase him down the hall and search while you search the bodies and come back and tell you what I see? Or stay? What do you like me to do? I think that's that's foolhardy. I, would, I wouldn't do that. Personally. Okay, then I will stay and let you guys this one while you guys move up and search those. Okay. You can move. You do the searching. Okay. So, you guys... Um, Everybody give me a D20 roll. Island, Galathon, Theranol, and Kadak. You guys all think you hear running water ahead of you. Oh, 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 oh. somebody's flushed the toilet. <laughs> Just how fast can I make it to that rope and tie myself off? Okay. As you're searching the bodies. Can I can I brace against the walls? Because I'm afraid there's gonna be like a deluge coming down. If that's what you want to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll brace. Okay. So how long are you guys going to brace? Does it sound like the water's getting louder? No. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Then I quit being chicken and continue on. Okay. So we'll start with the crossbowman. He has a very small... Penis. But it is a would would you think it looks like it has the power to be a heavy crossbow? He's got a short sword. And and it's more proportioned like a long sword. Does that make sense? Like the blade is narrower. It's so it's a that. slash it's a slashing weapon instead of a, a piercing weapon, you say? Well, I mean, a short sword is is purely a hacking, slashing kind of weapon, uh, but it has a pretty broad sword. But this has a finer sword to it. I thought well, a short sword was a piercing weapon. Well, it, well I it think it meant long pretty... sword. But I mean, they do use it to pierce, but it is also a hacking weapon as well. I mean, it's it's. Uh, but it's got a broad blade, whereas a this one does not. It has a more narrow blade. Like a main gauge. Yeah. But it'll it'll function as a short sword for game purposes. It'll have the same characteristics and damage row. So if one has proficiency in short sword, one can use it. Use this. Yes. And then he has um, he's wearing leather armor. It's definitely a kobold. Um, but it looks a little different. Uh, his he has rough patches on their scales 
and or, and rough patches and their red scales growing on the body. Uh, the canine teeth are longer than you would expect, and so are their fingernails. Like they have claws, not just fingernails. Um, he also has a small gold pendant around his neck. It is in the form of a three-fingered hand. Okay, I'll certainly take that to hold on to. Okay. The four four guys that engaged you guys in melee each has a regular short sword. They have a um, javelin. They have a wooden shield. They're wearing scale mail armor. They have a very nice looking throwing axe as wow. well. Um, appears to be better than the other equipment. And they're, I mean, their swords and everything, all this equipment looks pretty good. And, uh, each of them also has the same kind of red scales and long teeth and, and claws. And they too have this uh, gold pendant, like a three clawed hand around their neck. It's just not a simple leather, leather thong, but it's, it's gold and it is three fingered clawed hand. I'm not used to and, Kobo's being so well outfitted. Marshall. No, normally aren't. And yeah, they don't seem normal, the, though. The phone goes through the the base of the hand, the wrist, and the fingers. So it's like the fingers are pointing down. They're from the three fingered cult. They may be. Would Haddock recognize it as any religious significance? Like a gangster. <laughs> Would Haddock recognize it? No, um, it's not Curdle Mac. Haddock, give me a D20 roll. He, he is a cleric, you know. Yes, he is. No, no but it looks like three fingers. D20 roll without really asking why. I just rolled D20. It uh, looks I, like they just. Haddock, you have no clue. You've never seen anything like it in your life. <clears throat> it strikes no even pagan no religion. Like, false wow. gods. It's a false god. There you go. Heathens. Okay. So those so do those acts. The axes yeah, seem especially axes nice, huh? Yeah, they are especially nice. Oh, does anybody mind if the old dwarfy grabs? Are they all have them or just one or two? Just well, those four. All four of them have the same thing. They've got a short sword, a small wooden shield, a javelin, and the and and the short sword and javelins are all good weapons. But that throwing axe is is. Excellently made and very well balanced. Well, I'll certainly, nobody else, I'll certainly ask if I can have one of them. Go for it. I, I use the long blade. blades. Yeah, yeah. I, my thing is the Go axes. So, you know, I mean, if you guys don't want any of them, I'll grab them. I'll take some form of short sword. Okay, by all means. Oh, and if there's bolts too, I, I might wouldn't mind taking a few. Uh yes, there would be bolts. How many are we talking? He's got uh what, like seventeen. And they're in a quiver. Is anybody taking the heavy crossbow? Because I don't want the heavy crossbow, but nope. I want some bolts. I would take a heavy crossbow. 
I okay. can split the bolts with you. Be, That'd be great. It'd be better than my sling. I just want five of the bolts. I'll pick up the heavy crossbow and walk it over to Haydick. <laughs> so he's got it. And I slowly crawl. <laughs> it's uh, and so what that is is that weapon is about the size of um, a light crossbow, but it's you can tell that it's like its mechanism, and everything. It's it's pulling more weight than you would normally get off of one of those. It has, it has, it takes, it's going to take as long to lo cock and load. You'll, you'll get a, get a shot off every other round, like a heavy crossbow and you'll get the heavy crossbow range and damage. Well, could now I be, of, a, of a regular crossbow. Can I keep it loaded and just fire and then drop and pull my weapon and move into melee? Um, not full time. Uh -huh. I mean, but you could definitely, if you feel like there's a need for it, do that. But you couldn't, couldn't do it all the time. I mean, like you want to do it while you're walking through the dungeon, but when you're out and about in the city oh, yeah. or on, oh, yeah, yeah only country, one more. You, you, you would need to like, okay, I feel like I need to get the crossbow out now and have it at the ready. Yeah, just basically when I'm on high alert, expecting a fight. Yeah, yeah. Like obviously in a dungeon, you're walking through, you, you could have it out with a bow ready. I would let that. Yeah, or a boat ready. Okay. I'm sorry if someone's waiting on me. My kid stepped in. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. So. If everybody's done, you guys can move on now. No movement restriction. Now, that was just while we were in melee. But, I mean, obviously, you're still on your knees till you get up here, about here. And then you guys can stand up and, and walk on and explore what you got. This is, again, uh, and, 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 and uh, Ragnar, you can tell this passage is slightly sloping up. It's pretty easy because there's water seeping down it. Okay. But it's definitely got a little up to it. And when you get up here, the water noise gets louder and louder. Oh, as if it could it be water running towards us? A bit misty and wet. Here. Could just be a waterfall or something. And some of you can probably now see there looks to be running water crossing this room. You guys want to go north or west? Or northwest? How treacherous does the running water across the room look? Um, I mean, it looks... Distance across. I mean, it, it's not like a huge, rapid torrent, and you can barely hear over it. I mean, it's it's like you're going to have to talk loud while you're in here type of thing. Um, and if you were trying to swim across it, you think the current would affect your swimming. Uh, but it definitely is, is you know, is something that brave adventurers should be able to challenge. Okay. I mean, it seems like I can see this whole corridor and see the river, so there's probably nothing in that corridor. You haven't seen any creatures. Agner could uh, follow the other kobolds. Yeah, do you want to track where they went? Uh, considering there's a film of water everywhere and it's smooth stone under it, there's not much tracking opportunity in here. Okay. 
and basically what happens there's enough churn here that water sloshes up out of the river over the the stone embankment or the stone cut and starts flowing across the room that's where the water's coming from that and just the moisture it creates which is dripping off the stalactites this is kind of like walking through a light rain with all the stalactites dripping on you um the 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 edge of the floor there is you know like two inches above the surface of the water it is flowing mm. to the to the east to your you know across your path to the to the right left to right and if you start looking around you will see that there are some noticeable um black tights sticking up out of the water and it looks like one might be able to jump between them and move across the water that way or at least use them to help you somewhat get across the water okay this more monster yeah yes he does attack some knights yep that's funny okay uh, so i guess i mean does anybody want to swim across or is that oh, it's gonna be me because i'll do it if no one else wants to do it i want to try to jump to one of the stalactites or whatever yeah that's what i was going to do too oh okay Go right ahead, so I don't know if you would like to. I'll follow you. Can we uh, grab a rope and give it to somebody and maybe, you know, that way someone can pull us back in if we get sucked downstream? Yeah, by an undertow or something. Yeah, that would, yeah. I mean, there's no reason you can't do that. Yeah, All right. tie a rope around uh, us and we'll go. Did you retrieve, did you retrieve your ropes from the from the door or from the entryway? I'm not sure. Uh, Did I the, use mine, or was that someone else's? That was so. There was three in the chest. I used one that was in the chest, but I also had one myself. So yeah, someone said they were taking taking two two ropes across. Is that you? Is that the dwarf? Say that again. Someone said they were taking two ropes across. One. I mean, one up the shaft. Down. Yeah, when we came up, yes. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, I tied two ropes off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I yeah, can go retrieve ropes. one, or I Did can you retrieve them. Just tell me you can. I, 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 I don't. I'm, I'm just. Asking. I would just leave in case we needed to escape. I would leave one hanging, but. Um, okay. I would that's one. fine. So you guys retrieved one of the ropes. Yeah, that's that's the way we'll play it. Okay. Alrighty. And I tie one around me. Mine. I have a fifty footer with me. I'll give the rest. It's one of those things I you. ask because that way we wouldn't be like having this discussion. <clears throat> Two weeks from now, when she yep. needs to rope again, I'll write it down. I mean, I I brought one in the campaign, and then we found those ones in the in the in the chest. So that's where I have both of mine from. So I'll... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you want to go first, Ronnie? Let me go first. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I already tied the rope around me while you guys were talking. <laughs> All right, go right ahead, buddy. I gave you the rest of it so that way, if I fall in, you can pull me back. Once I All get right. across, I'll tie it off on the other side there. Sounds good. All right, I'm gonna make the first jump here. Do I make it? Do I okay. Roll? What? So, yeah, you, you you're able to jump out there on it. Give me a uh, D20 roll. Yep, you you land on it. It's a little slippery, like this stone all seems to be, but you get a handhold and you're you're on on the on it well. So are you gonna which one are you gonna jump to next? 
Okay, there and all. You're you're on, you're good. What's your what's your next move? Oh, I was pushing the wrong button, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I said I, I wrapped it around the one that I was on, and then I'm gonna jump to the next one. Okay. Did I need to make a roll? Yeah, you need to make a roll. Done. Okay. So you stick it, you land. Was anybody else going to jump when he jumped? Or are you guys waiting to see what him get across? What's the... well, I'm going to wrap another, get... another foot of I think he was going to get across tied off, and now we have a full across the whole thing to hold on to. Okay. And uh, so, there and all, what I want you to do is give me another 20 sided die roll. Okay. So did you catch that that I, I wrapped it around the last one and now I wrapped it around this one? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Okay. And you're wrapping this off and you hear something and you look up and you see the biggest centipede you've ever seen coming straight down for you on the from the stalagmite that is just inches away from the stalactite that you're standing on. And it is initiative. <laughs> That's great. Oh, we have a simultaneous round. So there and all, what do you wish to do? Uh, I'm going to pull my bow and fire if I can. Ooh, okay. So take your take your shot. Do we see this, Richard? Can we take bows and shoot at it too, or no? Um. Let's see. I'm gonna roll a a uh, four sided die with one being north. Two being east, three being south, four being west. And that'll determine which side it's on and whether you can see it or not. Have, have okay. The possibility to view it. And so it's on the north, so none of you can actually see it. It's on the far side from you. Okay. So you see Theron all <laughs> whip his bow out and fire straight up at the ceiling. And, uh,. Barely hit it. Okay, there and all this thing gets down and it does get a bite off at you. It does not bite you. You do did stick it with an arrow. Okay. Centipedes are black. The centipede is black. It's the cover. You know, it's basically color, the cover of these rocks in here, particularly when they're wet like this. And so that's round one. It's time again for initiative. Okay. So, you guys can tell he's fighting with something, and it misses you, but now it's in too close for you to use the bow. All right. All right. Can I, can I, can I get it on my back and then jump for the next one? Um, I don't think you could get it on your back, but you could jump for the next one. 
All right. It's not going to uh, hamper your ability uh, to jump or land. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll jump. I'm going to jump to the next one. Okay. Let it chase me. Okay. So give me your your d20 roll for the for the land landing. Okay, so you go kind of sliding in. You, you feel a little a little less secure with your landing, but you still nail it. Cool. And now, um, as you jumped, it lashed out and bit you. Okay. Um, uh -oh. That's gonna hurt. I think those things have poison. That's what I'm worried about. So the bite is gonna be for five or for five points. And then I need you to make yeah, make a saving throw versus poison. Yeah, I just want to make sure that my saving throws are right because I don't know if I ever clarified them with you and I might have put them in wrong. Okay. Um, uh, let's look at that real quick. My poison one's 14 for a fighter mage. Yes, 14 would be your your save. Okay. There you go. And that sucks. So it stings. It, it, it's, you know, it's a burning pain. But Made you're itself. away from it. And uh, you land. Does anybody else take any actions this turn? I'll Can say we now see kind any of us? can see it. A little bit. If we can see it, I'll take a bow shot at it. Okay. In here, I'll fire the crossbow. Okay. It's 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 not a very good view of it, but you can see enough of it. You feel like you can take a shot. So. All right. If that's the case, I'll shoot too. Okay. Miss, miss. That was a one on the first, but it's a bow, so I don't know how you handle that. Well, if if there was someone in the area, that would be an issue. Okay. But he's but not. He made a jump, and he's shooting afterwards. So I'm gonna roll my sling attack because I haven't put in the crossbow yet, but it should be the same. That second shot should hit for me. Yeah, that one actually does. So what did that thing tag me for? I, I didn't catch the number. Five points. Ow. And landing and you grab hold and you see another one of these things coming down this stalagmite and it's initiative. Another one. <laughs> So, Thernal, uh, you get to move first. So, I have a second to wrap the rope around this one so I can just jump and get it crossed? Yeah. All right, I do so then. Trying to bridge the gap for everybody. Okay. So, go ahead and give me uh, the D20 check again. 
for your landing. Oh. Uh, you land it like a champ. <laughs> really? Like You're like doing a pirouette over there. Yeah, we're trying to roll high in this game. Oh, okay. I thought it was like my number and under, like with my decks or something. No, no, no. All right. I'll go for that. And uh, so I'll move you guys out of initiative for the time being. Oh, we took the centipede out? Yeah. Oh, one. cool. Can we see the other one that started to come down on Theronal that we can shoot or no? No, you can't. No, he can. I can still shoot? Not not now. That would be. Oh, exactly okay. That's what I thought. We'll go back into initiative. Uh, oh, good. So, what do you guys want to do now? Well, we'll say, Throttle, is it safe to cross? Should be easier. You're not going to tell us about that, uh, that centipede that's still alive? Of course not. It's on a need to know basis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I will. I guess I will try with the rope that he left. Okay. Do we do the, are we doing the hopping, skipping, or are we just kind of waiting and holding the rope? I, that's up to you. You don't know. I mean, no one's testing any depth or anything, but you can sure try to wait across it. Okay. I guess, um, We'll do what he did. We'll hop and skip. But somehow the rope being tied to those is going to help us if we slip, right? Or we just still need a rope tied around our own waist. It gives you a handhold. Gives you something to hold on to. All right. I will. What the heck? Here goes. I hope I don't meet that centipede in a bad way. Loop it around it or something, but yeah. Well, I still have my rope. I'll loop it around my sorry butt and say hold on somebody just in case all right so am i ready okay. your d20 wrong okay so uh, make the jump and you made it am i doing each of the things or did one yeah, for the whole way across it's, you got to make all four of the rolls, yep. Four rolls, okay. That's not good. No, that's not. All right. So you make the second jump, and, boy, you, you fall. It, you, your feet just slip right out from under you. And I need you to give me a... Um, Go ahead and give me another D20 roll. Don't forget, guys. Someone's holding that other end of it. That hopefully is good. Okay. So, you, <laughs> you have it looped around, and you just miss it, and you're able maybe to hook it with your foot so it, it stops, keeps it from driving your 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 crotch area into the stalactite <laughs> and and with some struggling and some work and um let's look at your so my voice stays low it doesn't go up yep your voice stays the same Next time I could toss a rag. 
What's that? I said next awesome. time you want, we Four could plus. toss you. Yeah. Do the dwarf toss. I don't have an inventory on here. Say what? You don't have an inventory of your, on your character sheet? Yeah. Do. I put it in oh, there. Oh, there he is. Uh, down in yeah, the notes. Put it in notes. Okay. Actually, changed the long sword to the axe. But that's mm -hmm. Okay, so give me a, a, a D4 roll. Okay. And while you're while you're doing this and getting yourself righted, you feel something snap and uh your hooded lantern which was there hanging on your backpack, has come loose and fallen into the stream and is gone. Okay. But you get yourself back up, and uh, now you can make a jump for that last one. Okay. Boy, I'm keeping this exciting. Oh, man. Right on. So give me another D20 row. It's going to get good. <laughs> forget you guys still have the rope on me, right? I tied around my waist, and someone over here has got the other end of it. So give me, give me a uh, strength check. It, it's it, a, a D20 row. But D20. When you, your, your strength is what coming into play. We've been dealing with decks. Yeah. Oh, my strength okay. is high, so isn't so, that good? Strength is high, but the rolls need to be high. But oh. the roll needed to be <laughs> moderate at least to succeed here. So this time, you you basically slide right across. And into the water you go. All right. Uh, All right. Basically, the strength show was to see if you were able to be in the water and maintain maintain hold of the rope, mm -hmm. but you lost one pe one you lost the wrong end of it, and okay. so you are free in the water. Oh, There's a rope just... hanging off of you, but you're free in the water. So, All right. um, can I just struggle this way and? You may struggle that way. Give me a D20 roll to swim. <laughs> okay. So, you wind up ashore. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Who's you're next? <laughs> you're bedraggled, but you're, 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 other than your pride, you're not hurt. Yeah. All right. Does anybody want the rope? I'll untie it from me. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. <laughs> okay. You guys want to use my rope? I thought he tied that rope around those uh, stalactites so we could just uh, wade across and hold on to the rope. Is that, was that not the intention? Yeah, safety say. line to help, help right. you. So with all of that, Richard, I probably by now know how deep the water is. Can they just wade? Well, you don't other no other, other than on the far side of it on the far side of it uh, you still needed to swim a little bit before you could get your feet under you all right best of luck 
Paddock will go next. Mm. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll tell you that you keep holding your rope on your end. I'll tie this end over here onto me. I'll also tie my rope onto me, hand it to the next strongest person behind me, which I think is sleep, ain't he? Yeah, but that's all right. I don't think Galton's all that strong. I, 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 oh. he's stronger, I doubt he's stronger than I am. Okay, then uh, how about this? I'll play the anchor over here since I'm probably the strongest on this shore. Uh, we can tie his rope on the other side onto a person. I can tie, and they can tie another rope onto them, and we can, like ferry across. So that way, there's a person on one side and a, on each side holding a rope tied to the middle person as he uses a rope that's already tied off to scale across the river. That way, if he slips off, we've got him anchored from both ends, anyways. He's not going to go anywhere. He or she. And we can just ferry that back and forth like that. Okay. I will hold my end. Does that make sense? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. No, well, that doesn't make sense, at least for uh, getting uh... everybody but me. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm the anchor guy, so I'll be the last one. Okay. So I'll just tie everybody's rope onto me on the other side of the shore so they should be able to, you know, motorboat okay. me across. Fair <laughs> enough. So everybody else, um, give me one uh, D20 roll. Ragnar, you don't have to. I'm talking about the people okay. that are still trying to cross. <laughs> you're, you're, you're through. Your torment is done. <laughs> I didn't make it. Okay, so um, let's see. Let me crank down the gear. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So give me a D3 row. Me? No, Kylan. Oh, Kylan. Okay. Or you can roll a D6, you know, however, whatever, however you want to work it, but you need a one to three number. Okay. Um, you have some struggle down the mid river and uh let's see here. And, and about half your arrows slide down into the water before you get righted. Okay. And so, Myrna, you made it across no problem. Kyland, um, we'll make we'll make Galathon roll when he comes to us or next week. Yeah. So everybody <laughs> except Haydak can move to the far side of the river. What do I roll? D twenty. Ooh, yes. Okay, so you're able to make it across as well. And now we're down to Haydak. Haydak will take a moment to make sure all his gear is, you know, anything loose is tied down nicely okay. as he's watching the last bit of arrows float down the, the water. Cinch his backpack down nicely, all his belt purses, you name it, and attempt to start going across while somebody holds the other end of the rope on the other side. Okay, so you're going to try to wade or are you going to try to do the jumps? Well, I'm going to wait, well... Haddock is pretty heavily armored. I don't know if he'd be able to do the jumps very well. You did put that rope there so you guys can hold on to it. Yeah, we got one rope going across. I can hold on to it, and then there's one tied around my waist that somebody on the other side of the shore has got a hold of. 
Attic will suggest a couple people since he is pretty heavy and, and weighing a lot, wearing a lot of armor. And he'll make his attempt to go wading across. Okay. Actually. So, you have... Go ahead and give me one D20 roll. Okay. So, when you get kind of out in the middle, you reach a point where you're basically hanging onto the rope and your feet aren't touching the ground for about 10 feet. And you're able to make that hand over hand with the water pulling on you and you uh, you make your way. Then you hit where you're, you're basically walking and you come out on the far side. Wet, but, uh, but uninjured and with all your gear. Kylan, you made it. You you just lost the arrow, so if you're ready to move across, you can. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> That's all right. Okay, so there you go. Alice has made it. Has anybody got an antidote? <laughs> oh, <laughs> some healing. <laughs> Well, didn't I get poisoned or something? Well, yes, but you didn't have any bad effects. I mean, it probably stings and is swollen and painful where he bit you, but you're you're not dying or. Oh, I was all worried. It wasn't save or die poison. No, you made your saving throw. <laughs> and, and, and it's it's save or nothing and. I mean, it's not always death, but it's like you're either poisoned or you're not poisoned with saving throws in 1E. Okay. So, but you did lose some hit points. I don't know. So it's that number or higher than in this. So someone may, you do want to be equal to or higher than, than your target number. Oh, okay. I thought it was the other way. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is C and C. Yeah, that's rules. consistent in both first and second. And yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I misunderstood. Never mind. I'm good. Thank you. I mean, like your your target number for saving throws goes down over time. In right, right. I totally yeah. forgot. Like I haven't saved in. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like typically, yeah, other things were done under, but I'm I do these checks over because I use the kind of a modified CNC method uh, for that. Simplified. Can we get? Can we give Thronal, um first aid for his basic bite and give him a few hit yes, points back? Yes, and normally you want to do it right immediately, but I realize we were dealing with the mechanics there. So, yeah, yeah. someone may, may bandage his wound. Is that a 1d4? Yep, it's a 1d4. There you go, dude. Whoa, whoa good job. Can roll good on that at least. Thank God. Just, just don't ask me to jump on stalagmites anymore. <laughs> Not twinkle toes, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Some short legs. Okay, so you're on the other side. All right, just start wandering around again, boys and girls. Sure thing. When we were mostly over, I started to think... There's no kobolds in here. They ran away, or he ran away. So either there's a mi secret door on the other side we miss, or he just hops right across this daggone thing, no problem. Yeah. I don't... There's That's a passageway kobold, up man. here. One to the right, too. Well, there's one to the right. Is there one over there, Thronal? Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks like it. there's an arrow pointing inward, though. Where would you guys like to go? You always go left. Always go left. Left, left is right. right. <laughs> Your other left. 
You always follow the left wall. It takes you into the maze unless you're trying to get out, and then you follow the right wall. Is Galathon going to come along or no? You're, I'm already over here. Wait for the inevitable stop right there. Yep. And it is initiative. Okay, so Myrna, do you want it for him? Um, Ragnar and Myrna, you guys see in front of you more kobold-looking creatures, same size at least as the ones. Again, it's kind of far, but you think they look like more of the kobolds, and they seem to have noticed you. Well, I'll tell everybody there's more kobolds down this passage. I will... I mean, this is tight, so I'll take the shot of Bo a few a few of them first. If you allow that. Yeah, if you want to shoot, that's what you can do. Where are they? They are that way. If you see the arrow, they're that way. Mm -hmm. That's the one you're shooting at, the one in the middle? Yep, I'll do the middle one and the back one. I'll try it one and one. If you can, okay. if, I, if that's a mechanic we can do. Oh. Hey. I might have hit something. <laughs> right on. Definitely hit the one here. Oops, I think that's 15. Open that 15 hit. Okay, so see you move, Sarah and all. That was your move. Yeah. Uh, Myrna, did you wish to do anything? Does my bow only do the same thing? Well, let's make sure you've got a shot. Kind of a no, you you don't have a shot. Wait, I move what? Let's see. No, you don't. And he's firing arrows through that square, right? You'd, you'd be kind of moving into his arrow fire, so probably going to just stay where you're at unless you want to move up. Like I'm going to move up. Okay. Go ahead. squares six. Uh, you can move up to, you know, three regular moves. Three. Six would be, uh, you know, able to still do melee and... You can move up to 12 squares if you're going to take off running. I'm just going to move and I'm done. Okay. And how far can we move in this chamber? Well, I can't really... These are like 10 foot, 20 foot ceiling. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell with all the black mites, but you know, have no have no movement restriction. Okay, and I can't see them at all right now, right? No, but they are shooting arrows in this area. Hmm. Just like okay, 
from over this area here. So Galathon moves up like that, and as he does, Galathon, you feel your foot catch, and there's a twin, a twinge, and. Uh, Uh-oh. What's that rectangle for? This net <laughs> comes dropping down from the ceilings on all of everybody except Galathon. What is it? A net. Fudge buckles. Yep. Galathon tripped the trip wire on us. It's not terribly heavy. It's a very fine net, but it's weighted. And so you guys are like going to be having to kind of either cut your way or work your way out from under it. Okay. And um I'll use my dagger to try to cut cut out. Okay. I'm right near the edge. How's that look right there? Which would be easier, cutting or climbing out? Probably if you're near an edge, climbing out would be easier. And I said it's it it seems to be a fairly fine um It's a very small, like the, the, the netting is very small in size. Like it's, there, you know, like the squares of the netting are like half inch. Wow. It's, it, but More it's, like a fish net than a cargo net. Right. I'm going to climb out northward, I okay. guess. And it is initiative. Oh, I and let's see. Everybody, uh, hey Dak, you actually still had had moved had not gone. So yeah, uh, what would yeah, you like to do? Well, I was trying to find where the arrows came from because that was the direction I was going to move into. Well, the arrows came from here, uh, like over oh, this area. One firing arrows, but he was firing them down this hallway. Oh, okay, so they weren't coming at us. It was him shooting down the hallway. Him, he was shooting down at them, but now you, you're hearing tiny little shrieks. Ah, ah, and then you hear the armor chant. You know? Yeah, that would have been the door I might have moved into then towards the sound of uncommon stuff or in front of our party members like I usually do. Like right here, at least in front of my, the softer rangers. Okay, are you trying to cut your way out of the net? Well, now that I'm capturing it, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. Either try to cut myself out or just rip it apart if I can. Uh, you, you're going to have to cut it out. So it's going to take you a turn, That's, but you'll you'll be able to get out next turn where everybody else is still working their way out from under it. I will chop away. Okay. So, Richard, did any of my arrows kill any of them? No. You hit really? one, okay. but you didn't die. Oh, okay. So it is uh, 
Now initiative again. Okay, so... I mean, if it's, when you need to know, I'm just... I'm in the middle, so I guess I'm cutting myself out. When it's your turn, you yep. know, I'll be getting to that. Okay. We all cut the mold, and we are getting out this turn, isn't it? No. Okay, so these guys come charging in there, and uh, they've got they they've got their little javelins out first, and during all the one on you is able to yeah. to get you for four points of damage, and Galathon yeah. the one on you gets you for five. Myrna, you get missed. So now it's you guys' turn. Uh, there would be no missile fire this round. You can't fire the missiles through the net. Uh, what uh, you could do is, Haydak, you are now free and can move. Kill. Everybody else, you can try to get to the edge or you can try to cut your way out. Either one looks like it's going to work, but it's going to take the round. Or for those of you that have someone on you, you could try to, you know, stab pull your net. sword out and stab at them through the through the netting. That's what I'm gonna do when the time comes. Okay. So Galathon, we will start with you. What do you wish to do? And you can you you don't have no net restrictions or anything. You can just attack or move. You do have one on you. Galathon. I am going to attack this one right in front of me. Okay. With my can I attack with my longsword in this in these quarters? Oh yeah, there's no restrictions here, movement or otherwise. You're you're in full sized, medium sized, free movement corridor, and you now are facing an X kobold. And Haydak, you may take your attack. One less cobalt in the room. And uh, Myrna, what do you wish to do? I'm going to try to move out like this, right there. So. Okay. Yep, you can move Thank up you. and get out from under it. Okay. Ragnar, what do you wish to do? It sounds like from where I'm at, cutting myself out's the best way, so I spend my round cutting okay. out. 
Yep, you will be able to move up next time. Okay, and Theranol. I'm going to attack the one next to me. I'm going to stab through the net at him. Okay. Is there any adjustments I need to make? Nah. And you paid him back for his damage to you. Damn straight. And it is now initiative. Okay. <laughs> Can I do that too? Fuck. Shit, I should have rolled. You should have rolled. I waited. No one did, so I did it. I was trying to give you guys a chance. I appreciate it. I suck at rolling though tonight. You guys all suck, so I can have a good night tonight. Exactly. <laughs> I don't do nothing. Taylor nor do do the initiative. <laughs> I'm just sandbagging for you, buddy. Okay, and uh, guy runs up and attacks Myrna. I do believe our crossbow guys ran away. And uh, he uh, gets you for a point of damage. One point. And... Uh, mm -hmm. It is uh, you guys' turn, so Myrna, what do you wish to do? Uh, use my long sword. Okay, take your attack. Twelve. You miss him. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Dax. No, Terranol. Take one step forward and swing away. Don't count uh, on me yeah. now. Well. Okay. Shorter than I thought he was. Okay, that's a miss. Galathon. Galathon. Right, I'm going to move up and attack this last uh, melee kobold right here with my long sword. Natural 22. And oh, that was more than enough to slice him in two. And uh... So I've got initiative one last time, maybe. Uh, Ragnar, you can move up if you wish, and same with with you, Chiland. Okay. You see any cobalts around? If not, I think Thronal once again needs first aid. I can do that. Well, you're still in melee. You may you okay. can do that Never mind. melee. Never mind. Sorry. All right. We got a simultaneous uh, movement turn. Um, Where'd the bad guys go? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the archer guys were here and here, but they seem to go out of our line. Okay. So you guys can uh, move if you wish up to your full move base. Okay. We, I guess we'll check the coal balls. They got anything different than last time? Mm. 
you need to wait till you're out of melee. Okay. The road is blocked. Okay, so you guys are um, out of melee. So, does anybody want to go back and check the bodies? Sure. Yep. Okay. So, these guys have the exact same setup as the, the last ones you dealt with did. Hmm. More well-equipped kobolds. Beep, beep. So if anybody took any of that stuff, just add it to your sheet. Um, and they, you know, the same thing. The they had the short sword, the javelin, the Good axe, good hand axe, and the gold medallion. Four medallions? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Do they have one of those skinny swords again? The the little short swords? No, these that are guys different? have regular short swords. The guys in the the the, Got the, it. the the melee guys had the same had regular short swords. Did we see if they ran off this way when they were running or no? You did not. Okay. We have trackers, right? Myrna, Myrna's a tracker. Dry. This is still a damp floor. No dust, no dirt. It's wet stone, so there's really not much tracking. Like, the tracks disappear before the people get out of your vision. Okay. Ooh, really? Seems to be only this way to go. So when you get down to there, I mean, there, actually earlier that you would see it, there is, this is a bone and wood gate. That line that Galifog just stepped right onto is a bone and wood gate that is across this passageway. Can we try to lift gates? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Anybody home? You hear scurrying and shivering. Hmm. <clears throat> Can we try to lift the gate or no? One of those comes into view. What is that? Basilisk. Okay, I guess now instead of lifting, can I shoot an arrow through the gate at that? <laughs> can I have bin bars? Lift gates? Bin bars? I mean, I mean it, you could do that, but you could also just unlatch it and go in. Oh, well, it's, it's just holding a critter back then. It's a pretty ugly critter. I just wanted to I say, I take an active search and look around this room before they do that. And yeah. as it comes up, you realize it's got six legs. And it's somewhat 
looks like a rat, but it has a huge mouth. And when it opens its mouth and kind of at you, it has like three nasty rows of teeth in each in upper and lower jaw both. And they're all kind of pointing different directions and they're all sharp and nasty looking. So he's got summer teeth? Yep. That yeah. thing can eat an apple through a picket fence. <laughs> yes, it could. It's called a uh, scaly long tooth biter. <laughs> uh, can can we? Yeah. Can we shoot arrows through the gate at it? Is it just basically bars and we can shoot through or no? I mean, you can kind of shoot through, but it's not okay. going to be. It's going gonna, it's gonna to affect your fire. Okay. 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 If someone, if people will, I don't know if we got room, and I'm not going to shoot Hadek or Galathon, I'll give it a shot, but. Awesome. Oh, Quip. Awesome. Oh, is this something you can try too if you want, Mirna? Nice. Okay, let's go. Is Galathon gonna? I was about to say Quipper. Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yep. We were thinking we can shoot through the gate. Oh, uh, is it the type of gate that uh, rises, or is it just a door? It's just a door. Uh, does it look like it has a lock on it? No. It's got a latch. Nice. Uh, hey, those are too good. Kind of a rope thing. You pull the rope up off of the stick and open the gate. You know, I'll well, next time. Uh, sure made that difficult. I'm bleeding. So I'm going to you're, you're uh, bleeding. come back here and just kind of bleed. <laughs> That's good. I take it we're just successful in pissing it off a bit. It kind of backs out. Do we have a healer? We do have a healer who's badly hurt. Who's badly hurt? Who needs first aid? I'm down to two. What? What? Good lord. Why did I see all this blood spread everywhere? That dude, I'll do hit first me in the aid. Head. Yeah, but I thought he gave you excellent first aid. What about Galathon? Didn't he, isn't he hurt? He said he was bleeding. Yeah, I got stabbed I mean, by a kobold for 10 points. Yeah. Where's the bleed club? Well, as, as a professional medical individual, my opinion for that would be don't get stabbed by kobolds. But this has been so long, I, I can't do a first aid, so I'll, I will do a cure on him. Uh, you can still do the bandage. Okay, well, I'll bandage them and then probably still have to cure because. Okay. All right. Who need? Who else oh. needs bandaged? I'll bandage somebody if they need it. Well, that that'll give him four. My cure is eight, so that'll leave two healing points over for somebody that needs a couple points to top up. You can share points like this. Four. Yeah. Out of combat. I'll take them. Uh, All right, go ahead and take your two points. Did I just get healed for four points? Uh, plus six for a cure, so ten points total. Okay. Plus six. Need first aid, the Ronald. All right, I'm feeling better. <clears throat> if you can do it, uh, Mirna needs one. I, I don't know how it's worth. Well, you one, you can be ba he can be bandaged too. Okay.
that bandage sucked. Sorry. That's all right. Every point helps. Yeah. Your tank has returned. Okay. I'm just a big old glistening sack of hit points now. You need shield. We'll see what we can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> Go through the gates of hell, my friend. You can't shoot through it then? If you're going through hell, keep on going. Don't slow down. It was just apparently a simple unlocked rope thing kind of like a cow gate yeah. it sounds like basically yeah i'd be careful if he's got friends up there yeah this could be the dog pen we're opening up right or the equivalent of can i do a search around the other the, the whole room that we're in here like an active search no one has but you sure can I, i'll do it right now I got a two, one or two. You don't find any secret doors or, or um, traps or anything. I guess it's the doggy pen then. You're you're in the front, Galathon. Go right ahead. <clears throat> All right. Uh, did the Osquip fuck up? Okay. I'm gonna try to open the gate. You have no problems opening it. Alright, I'm gonna step through and tank. He's up there on the left. Oh. Big ugly fish head guy. Shoot her! Shoot her! Back up and he hisses. Now it doesn't have scales. I know someone said that earlier. It's, it's has skin with a little bitty wisps of hair on it. Shovel teeth. Yellow shovel teeth. It's got gingivitis, every kind of gum disease <laughs> known to man. Every kind of gum disease known to man. Yep. The Gila monster of the dungeon here. I don't want to cut you off, Toronto. I mean, do you want me to take this spot or do you want to take it? Shoot! Ah! All right. I'll take out my bow and take another shot at him. If you'll let me. Although, well, now right maybe on. I'll shoot Myrna. Initiative. Oh, no. So, Richard, is it initiative or you want me to shoot the bow first? You can shoot the bow first. I mean, then we'll be. In initiative. I mean, it's definitely stepped up and is. Two misses, I would probably imagine. Yeah, two misses. Anybody else want to do anything? Oh, free attacks. Yeah, yeah. Gonna I'm going to attack the shit out of it with my longsword. I'm just going to end up moving up in there. Uh, there. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. 
free round. <laughs> Why not? Everybody attack it. Okay. It snaps at you, health on, but it does miss. And it is now initiative. <laughs> Sad. Just can't win on initiative, can we? Mm -hmm. Not tonight. I want to jinx it, but at least there's only one of them so far. <laughs> Perfect timing saying that. Ah, uh -huh, isn't it? Yeah, he's just waiting for that shit. <laughs> yeah. Not a wild rat. What is that thing? Son of a... It's an Osquip. Osquip? I've never heard of that thing before. Yeah, there's... Uh... Three different kinds of rats in D and D um, that are not well. Let's can't wear rats, but regular regular entry rats. You got rats, giant rats, and osquips. And then you know, there's other rats too, but they're not rat rats. They're like wear rats or demon rats or rat fiends or whatever. Rat bastards. Rat bass. Rat bats. Lots of those in the game. Yeah, they come in packs, huh? What's your AC, Galathon? Uh so without the or sorry, without the magic of the um large shield uh that you gave me or that you put in, um it is uh it is plate mail and shield. Uh, and then whatever the magic of the large shield is. That's like zero or one, right? Uh, see, I think plate mail alone is three. And then uh, shield, shield is plus is one. Two. Yeah, so two. More than likely. And then um, whatever the magic of the shield is. I don't have a dex bonus, if that's what you're asking. No, I'm just trying to figure out what your AC is. Yeah. Okay. It bites you for nine points of damage. Oh my yep. goodness. Yeah. Yeah, these hit hard. Yep. I might I might go into a coma here. Cause they have uh decent Thacko and too, if I recall correctly. It is uh you guys turn. So Galathon, what do you wish to do? Um I'm going to attack uh, this one that we're sharing, I'm sharing this target with uh, two other people. So hopefully okay. we'll take it down faster. And that's how you win. You share targets. Okay. So I have a question. Uh, Behind you. Hang in see, there. 18. I hit a AC of one. You hit it. And seven damage to this one. Got a nasty looking wound, but it's still up. It's been looking to bite. Hopefully, somebody will finish it off. Haddock will chop into it, hopefully. Uh, 
Armor class six. Mm. No. Okay. There and all. Can I cast a spell? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm using it properly. I was I was going to use sleep. Oh, thank so it's God. Four plus three uh, hit dice okay. of creatures. Now, that doesn't hit us in this area, does it? If well, you get us in the area, it will. Depends on where you put the center center mass okay. of the spell. Like, I, the didn't, sleep, I didn't understand it in the book. The way right. sleep works is if you cast it in an area, it gets the lowest hit die creatures first. Yeah. And so it's... if any of us is first level and these things are like third three hit die, then it's gonna get it's gonna get us first. Or yeah. the ones of us who are first, uh, one hit die. And it only works on creatures that are so you have to use uh the area effect. How many squares? To your advantage. It's it's a it's they have to be thirty feet from each other. So it's essentially a thirty foot cube, thirty by thirty by thirty. So that's six squares by six squares by six squares high. You can cast it out there. I would ahead. probably center it around here somewhere so you won't get us. Yeah, you're probably going to... If you're trying to get some of those... If you maybe. center it right on this uh, yeah. grid intersection, it's not going to hit any of us, and it'll yeah. it'll have I mean, one, two, three, four, five... Okay, and only one of them will be away. All right, I'll cast it right there, then. And that's, you're assuming they won't hit die. I don't know if they are. So give me the give me the die roll. I think it's two d four. There are three plus one. You have to roll. You have to roll. Get, it's the fig, forgot how many you get though. It's two d four. Got it. Hold on. Oh, thank four. God. Not bad. Not bad at all. If they're not immune. To oh, thank God. Yes. <laughs> I might not die now. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, <clears throat> and I might level because if I remember correctly, these things are worth like 420 they're like elves if you kill an elf you get 420 i'm looking at them in the second edition book they're 120 so no it's probably different metagaming hello oh. what i want to know what they are damn I've never encountered these before oh really you may have fight gotta learn somehow damn oh, these things are fire breathing now wait a <laughs> <laughs> what good are books if we can't use them? Scaly bites a lot, man. That's all we need to know. With thick skin. Back in the old days, you couldn't just whip out the master manual in front of the, in front of the DM. Yeah. That was that was bad form. All right, now what? Back in the day. Did my part. You guys kill him. What he doesn't realize is that I, 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 I'm not using either one of those manuals. Oh. Well, <laughs> well the damage. I, I didn't. I didn't figure it was right. I didn't figure it was right because it's the that, wrong book. The so. bite damage is right on par. I didn't say what the damage was, did I? <laughs> no, no I but they. Calculation. They do. They I do pretty good anyway. damage. They do pretty good damage. Yes, they do pretty good damage. There's uh, very few weapons that damage as well as they do. Yeah. So. They got big ass teeth. Yep. It is. Size of shovels. <laughs> so, Myrna, what do you wish to do? Okay. And you miss him. Oh, you can't shoot at him with an arrow. I can use the bow? No. Not on one that's right at your feet. No. Okay, so we won't for the reach. 
feed him some steel. <laughs> okay. And, uh... I see my nails with my sword. <laughs> so, uh, Ragnar, what do you wish to do? I mean, are they filling up the gap, or can I get in the in the fun? Yeah, you really can't get through in one. And With if I try a bow from here, I have a risk of hitting somebody in the back, right? Yep, you do have that risk. Um, back on me. I don't, I mean, sorry, Haydak, but you haven't been hit, and he's about ready <laughs> to die, so I will, I'll try this guy and just hope I don't roll a one on Haydak. Does that sound fair to everybody? No. No. Not the way don't tell anything. If you All shot right, me in the back, I, I turn around and, and shoot, shoot your ass right back. So <laughs> really it's not a good idea. Party, man. Works in one e is it's it's you if you throw put missile weapons into melee, you roll to see if you hit, and if you get a number high enough to hit, then we randomly determine who the weapon the missile hit. Oh, oh, that's a lot worse than I thought it was. Never mind. That's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. The other game I play in, it's just only if no. you get a one to the chance of hitting somebody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're, you're Fifth edition. moving the whole combat. You don't just stand there. Yep. And, yeah. And just, yeah. Yeah. That, no, that mechanic's not a good mechanic. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to risk that mechanic. So I'll, okay. I'll just, I'll just wait until someone gives me room to get in the fray. Okay. And um, same thing for you, Kylan. Do you wish to do anything? Nope. I was going to shoot one of those guys he slipped, but I don't want to wake them, wake them up now. So I'm going to wait for them to make make room. Very good. So it is now initiative then. I don't know if I want to roll it again. Can't do any worse than one, so. Like that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm on you called it. Right on. Murder, I'd move forward and kill the one that's sleeping. Hey. So, Galathon, you get uh, missed. I get missed? Yes, but Haddock, Haddock, not so lucky. You just took nine points of damage as those oh. teeth sneak through and... <laughs> No and, one's killed us yet. Break your ankle bone. I'm I'm immune to teeth. <laughs> your, your shin bone, something. My cankle, my cankle. And uh, so that's what they did this turn. The other ones are obviously still sleeping. All right. And. Uh, Who's this right here? So Me. Can you can you attack this one, please? Yeah, I was going to. Okay. Well, that's not the one that that, near, that bit you or nearly bit you. It's been the one right up here the whole time. All right. So Theranol missed. All right. I'm gonna. Hey, Deck. If I kill this one, we we hit this one right here for me. Heck yeah, I will. All right. So I'm gonna try to kill this one right now. Okay. Just be careful with my leg. It's still in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I want my foot back. Yeah. You'll be chasing that Moby Dick for a while. Uh, AC 8. God. Okay. So head up. Head up. Uh, Ooh, better. AC 2. That is a miss. That's a miss. Uh, good lord, man. We're gonna die. Uh, I'm attacking this one again. Okay. <laughs> oh, and that's a miss. I'm gonna shout because I can't do anything else. I'm gonna shout, Galton. You need to move to your northwest so we can. Get more bodies in in the in front. 
Uh, I'm yeah, not. Ronnie, you, and uh, Ronnie, you could move. No. To the, so we can get get it, we can get in. We're, we're, we're kind of hemmed in right now. Kill the sleep one, so that yeah. way there's two less. No, if we just get, I don't know about that, but because they, they don't wake up on their own at first. You have, they have to be woken up. Even even the spell version expires. Anyway, right now we got three people that can't get into the fight. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck where I'm she at. I can't move. move. She move. Yeah, me yeah, too. Galathon can move. Galathon can move. Galathon can move here, and she can move here or here. As long as she doesn't leave the. How am I able to move? Tactics, tactics. Yeah, I I, I allow a five foot slide on something like that, or a three foot slide. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, there and all, you could now move up and not let guys squeeze in or squeeze by. If I move up, then I get hit by two of them. I don't know about that. <laughs> they hit hard. As long as there's multiple targets, I won't do that to you. You're the DM. I don't know if I trust you. <laughs> okay. There's Now we just need one. Oh, I can get in. Now we just need Highland to get in. And there is room to get by path. There and all there. Oh, so you want, can I? Oh, can okay. I get there? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can move up to there. All right. Because he thought, because Ragnar is not yet engaged in melee, so yeah, you can move through him. I'm going to attack this guy if I, can, if I still get attacked. I don't know if I'm okay. going to Yeah, Ragnar, you would get one too. Okay. Now or, or next round? Tylen misses. Okay, so now. Oh. Shit, over four. Nine crap. And Ragnar misses as well. And uh well that's that's that turn. It's now initiative again. Goodness gracious. Hell yeah. Okay, so they miss. Ooh. That was quick. Who wants to go first on the hits? I guess I could. So, yeah. Galvan? Yeah. Have the dwarf attack this one right here. Miss. Okay. There and all, that's a miss. Dang it. Yes. All right. I'll attack it. Wait. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, Let me go first. Uh, no, you're our big guns. You got to go last. <laughs> I haven't hit nothing. Okay. There you go. All right. Got him. Hopefully he's dead. Now you can move up and get this one. Hopefully you one shot it. I'm gonna take this one with both daggers. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about I forgot about you. Oh, might not have to now. Armor class negative four. Yeah, I don't think I have to now. Looks like he's yeah. he's taking care of it. Nice roll. So you guys are out of melee. Cushion blood everywhere. So who wants to give Galathon first aid? I think he needs it. I'll throw some first aid. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. I'll throw some first aid on myself too after that. There we go. I'm not too greedy. Okay. All right, and then we want to coup de gras these sleepy ones, right? Yes, that's right. Just pretty please. I got, Take care of my I got this one. I want to kill something because I keep missing every damn thing. That's good. Yeah, right on. Do these little suckers have anything on them? 
No. Nothing. Other than they're peculiarly reddish. They Wait are peculiarly reddish. The the kobolds were reddish too, weren't they? Yeah, there's a occurring theme going on in this place. Yes, there is. Now, I don't know if it's on purpose, Richard. Usually after each little battle, you give out XP. Are you saving yeah, up for something? It's been, we kind of have, I've, I, it, I've been missing doing it. So it's not a, it just has happened tonight for some reason. Seems like we've been kind of moving right Cruising. along in the next yep. room. And some okay. of these combats have run into each other, so. I've been trying to write down when we kill stuff. I know what you killed. And I'll, I'll give it there all you to you when we wrap up. Okay. So just, are we want to start moving along again, guys? Yeah. That's what I thought. I really want to take a good look at this room that they're in. Okay, stop. Everybody stop. Stop. <laughs> want to move way back. Okay. And... Which one of us stepped somewhere? So, Ragnar? In it. Uh-oh. Yes, sir? A bolt comes from back here ah. towards you, yes. but winds up, I mean, we are assuming it probably was coming for you, although it kind of hits over here. Okay. Uh, and it is initiative. Cobalt ho. Cobalt's to the north of you guys. And here he comes running. He's got his odd little narrow short sword out. All right. And he swings and he misses. All right. Can I yeah. swing and miss now, too? <laughs> sure. All right. Go right ahead. Got, why stop a tradition for tonight, right? There you go. That's a Okay. A combo just swung on him with a sword? Yeah. yeah. Where? I'll be able to see him. He's blocked behind that, that stone over here. Right here? Yeah. Oh, right like here. right back. I'm here. Yep. What are you doing? He's right here. I'm going to move because I can't see him. I can throw arrows from here. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you can't. Go ahead and back up some, Kylan, because she's, she's firing an arrow towards it through that. Okay, go ahead. And that's a miss. Those are both misses. I guess we killed his pets. <laughs> Good. So, any of the rest of you that want to move, you may now move. I, to where you want to move. I want to close in in the melee with him. Is right. that him right there? Let him take a. Yep. Yeah. If you've got enough move base, go ahead. Let him take a dirt nap just like his pets. Come be my buddy. There's another one to the northeast, or I'm sorry, northwest, guys, where he was. So everybody that moved in that wants to take your attack, take your attack. I don't know if AC6 is going to do anything. AC3. Okay. Well, that one does it. Okay. 
and it's initiative. Good God. All right. I'll, I'll lose. Uh, Man, you know, there's other numbers on the six side die. It's this wall back here. And yeah, right. Anyone, any missiles or spells? That Being right there, guys. Anybody that wants to move and, and do melee or move and not do melee, go ahead and make your move. Can I make it up to him and attack? Oh, look at all that people going. Yeah. I'm not rolling too great tonight. That makes two of us. It's, it's, it's a nice roller. Okay, and that finishes him off. And now you are out of melee. These and... things are bold as hell. And they got the same stuff the other ones have had on them? Like yes. Crossbows, etc. Yep. And so I'll take ten more bolts. I'll, can I? I'll actively search the room for do my little dwarfy thing on the, the secret door stuff. If there's one, I should have found it. You did not find any. Okay. I think we did. We chase down all the corridors up here. Uh, there was one other one. Four, five, six. So for the evening, you each got 500 experience points. 500 XP, you said? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the that was 12 kobolds, six of the uh, of, of the super rats, and. Uh, the river crossing. Yeah. How much? There was a centipede in the river crossing, if you were to count that. Oh, there was. I forgot that. So, um, go ahead and make it 550. 550 total? Yeah. Let's see. Yes. Might just Fuck yeah. do it. No, it won't. Uh, yeah, this room, you, you can tell it. Bells of these rats. This is the rat pen. Yep, I did it. We have level four. Ah, I think that's officially the highest level I've ever been in a first edition game. <laughs> I laugh. Really? Believe me. Oh yeah. I, I don't. I, I I've never gotten this high. I DM more than I play, but but uh, I have a third level magic user now in another game, and that's the highest I've ever gotten. I'm just trying to remember how many first edition characters I've had. It's got to be like somewhere around ten. Wow. Oh, I, I don't know how many bonus. I've had. I've had ten in one night. I think I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh, yeah. five points away. I've had six in one night in first edition when I first started playing. Yeah. yeah, you know there were some nights in the dorm room where we'd be playing for twelve hours. You could run through a lot of characters. So um, I, I learned not to not, not to even name until I got about, at least fourth level. On. I was like, yeah, oh, this guy, God. this guy. Oh, yeah. With a loincloth. Yeah, that's him. This guy that rolled 
18 strength and survived, I'm going to give him a name. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yes, no, and we looked at the schedule. I realized we had a concert next Friday. And so I kind of talked the wife out of the Friday's engagement. And uh, so uh, we will not play next Friday. I will uh, let you know that I have a commitment to group that I'm part of coming up on August the 26th, and then another commitment on September the 9th. So those weeks will be off as well. Okay. That's cool. Uh, but after yeah! That, probably Full 10. Ready for most Fridays. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. So it, with the echo, it's hard to hear. You said there's a yeah. few dates you know you won't be able to do it? Correct. August Friday, something and September something. Next Friday, we're off. Okay. August 27th. We will play the 19th. We'll be off again on the 26th. Okay. We'll play on, a, what is that, like the 1st of September? Well, you said September. if you're off on the 9th, I think it would be September 2nd. Yeah, September the 2nd and September the 9th. Kind of like every other week. Then after that, we're going to be weekly again until probably the holidays. Awesome. Okay. All right. I appreciate the game. Ah, you're welcome. Yeah, I, enjoy, I enjoy playing. You, yep. you guys did a, this was a good gem tonight. Thanks for yeah, uh, thanks for DMing. Ah, you're so, welcome. Okay, cool. I don't I think I'll make the next one. I was just gonna say if we if we exit and I'm not here, you know, we'll I'll grab my rope. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you, gents. You're welcome. All right, good night, everybody. Thanks. Have a good one. Yes, have a good evening, good week, and we will, uh, or two weeks, and we'll see you on the uh, the uh, 19th. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah, I never got to level four in first edition. <laughs> I've had a dwarf. I've had a samurai out of uh, the... Uh, Oriental Adventures. I've had two or three wizards. I've had a cleric and a, I think a druid. I and... My other game is first edition. I got two seventh level guys, so I guess I'm dumb lucky. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's if if we were playing the way I I I started playing, yeah, you all guys would be on your second or third character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because <laughs> you know we played where you didn't have all the extra healing that I give, and you and just the way things were done, you would run into you would have been fighting more monsters. Yeah. And, oh uh, shit. I forgot I have a brooch of protection plus one. So my AC, ah. my AC is. You got some nice stuff, dude. I think you probably use that enough to figure out that that shield is a plus one as well. Okay. So my. Well, this this character has been in the game for a year, over a year now. Yeah. So. Yes. You know that that's why I actually got to level four. <laughs> Cause I've been I've been tracking my XP like legit like I haven't I haven't you know padded my XP at all I've only put down what uh yeah. what the DM says so I'm only 116 away from massive level two hmm. hey that's that's good you should make yeah. it next week or next session yeah should Arch plus one. Um, but yeah, like I have a, a group of characters that in another game now we've been playing for, oh, uh, I think we've been playing since 18, so nearly four years in that campaign. 
and some of the core characters have been in it that long, and they're eighth level. Wow, well, that's, that's a long time. And we play every other week, so that kind of makes it a little slower progression. But it's it, the progression is just not as fast in one e as it is in for like five e. Right. I understand. So, well, cool. Thank you yeah. again, Richard. You have a great Bye. night. You're uh, welcome. Thank you guys for playing, and uh, we will uh, see you all in a couple of weeks. Week yep. after next. Anyway. Yes. All right. All right. Have good night. night. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> and for our viewers, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we had a riveting session tonight <clears throat> I gained a level as well so I'm at 27 out of 35 um yeah, if you like who we are and like what we do, uh, I strongly urge you to explore our links down below. Uh, we have links to Patreon and PayPal. Uh, the PayPal is for one-time donations, and the Patreon is for monthly pledges. Um, as little as $1 gets you access to a special channel in our Discord server where you can come talk to me during uh, world-building sessions. And, uh, yeah, we've got a game coming up um, day after tomorrow on uh, Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, it's going to be a one-shot. One of my uh, players isn't able to uh, attend, so whenever that happens uh, with a party this small, uh, I run a one-shot. <clears throat> Uh, the one shot's probably going to be um, uh, the party goes to hell. And yeah, I'll be fighting some some devils in hell. Try to get home or something. Like they're just trapped in hell or something. And they got to fight their way back to the portal. Reach the portal. Ah ha 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 ha. All right, we'll see you then. I'm going to raid my friend, uh, Woo Keith. So here we go. Three, two, one, and raid. <clears throat>